So let me just say about uh, Russia and Europe first. Um, Europe crippled itself. Europe doesn't have to be reliant on Russia. Europe cr it, it created the reliance on Russia. And it created the reliance on Russia knowing Putin, knowing who he was. Remember, this is not the first war Putin is engaged in. I think it was 2008 that he invaded Georgia and basically took two provinces in Georgia and uh, it, you know, made them independent, uh, but the parts of Georgia. Um, in 2014, uh, you know, he's fought two wars with the Chechens, brutal wars in Chechnya, um, uh, two wars because they tried to cede from Russia. They tried to establish their own Chechen Republic. And, you know, he just crushed them and destroyed whole cities and flattened all places. And, of course, in 2014, he invaded Ukraine. And in spite of all of that history, and in spite of Putin's character and the way he oppresses his own people, the Europeans have become more and more and more dependent on Russian, oil, uh, Russian gas, which is not necessary. <laughs> you know, so, so for example, um, Britain, the United Kingdom, they have natural gas. If they allowed fracking, they could get natural gas. They wouldn't need to, to instead of investing in fracking, which is very cheap, very easy to do, they invested in windmills in the, uh, in the, north, you know, in the, in, in, in the ocean, which is very expensive, very dangerous, very risky, and not very reliable. And, and the funniest one, I, I mean, Germany has invested huge amounts of money in solar panels. I mean, have you ever been to Germany? There's no sun. <laughs> I mean, it's not Texas. It, it's, it's Germany. It's middle of Europe. It's cloudy. And yet they've invested huge amounts of money in solar panels. So uh, Germany used to have lots of energy capacity from nuclear. They've shut most of it down. They were going to shut down the last three nuclear power plants, and now they brought it back. Japan, I understand, is bringing back its nuclear uh, energy, which is good. You should be investing in new nuclear plants because your old ones, as we saw in Fukuyama, are not very good. So we should be investing in technologies that actually work instead of in solar panels and in wind and all of this that gives power to, um, uh, to the Putins of the world or even to the, to the Saudi Arabia of the world. I'm not happy about the fact that the Saudis have as much power as they do. And, and they have as much power as they do partially because they stole the oil that was developed by Western countries, but, but then also because we don't develop our own resources. The United States is different because they allowed for fracking. So we, they discovered fracking and then they let it loose. You know? And one of the reasons the United States is struggling a little bit now is because Biden, when he came in, said he's launching a war on fossil fuels. So nobody's going to invest in fossil fuels if the president says there's a war on fossil fuels. So investment went down and they weren't ready for the crisis. But we are, are, are you know, chopping our own legs off. We are weakening ourselves. So we need to make sure that we're not dependent on authoritarian regimes. We should have done that a long time ago with the Middle East, um, you know, and, 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 uh, you know, but we didn't. We should, have, we should have not allowed Saudi Arabia to control all the oil and uh, the, the Gulf uh, countries to control all the oil, but we allowed them to do that. Uh, we shouldn't allow the Russians to have a monopoly over natural gas into Europe, and I hope Europe's learning a lesson, and they're building LNG facilities and now they're, they're, they're going to import uh, natural gas from Israel and Egypt uh, and from Oman and from other places, from different places. So hopefully they'll diversify and hopefully they can cut Russia off. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe 
press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.